Dear Harstum, I'm a big fan of your channel. My complaint is gonna be a little bit odd. I was playing against Zerg, the game was smooth, I was up in basis count, upgrades, you name it, I got it. Keeping the Zerg under pressure, denying his hatcher ass, but suddenly he went to Broodlords and smashed my army 3-3. Marine did nothing, I went to produce tours, but I was playing bio and snipers are suck. So hard to keep it alive, control, gas heavy and to transpose into mech. It's such a risky move, I'm not saying that brute lords are imba, but that the ability for Zerg to transpose into whatever he likes with only one building is so OP, you can just build it to trap me or to go massive. Terran by the way, cannot... Do that, no space. Costs a lot of money, yeah, and time. P.S. I'm just a Platinum League player. Please don't go too hard on me. Thanks. Is it Imba or do I suck? Um, <laughs> welcome everyone to a new episode of Is it Imba or do I suck from a man who hasn't been able to quite locate the the, the, the period on his keyboard. As <laughs> That was a, a very, very long sentence. Oh, I'm gonna need to take a quick breather now. We have my man Lightoff here, who is a Platinum Zerk, Platinum Zerk, Platinum level Terran player on Europe. And he's not doing a, wait, this depot started at 13, didn't it? He cut one SCV too early. Oh no, it's gonna be one of them games. You know, it's not that bad actually, you just build the barracks, rally towards, if he rallies towards the gas, I'll forgive him. Ah, I'm not forgiven. He, ah. I love it when things like rallying happen. It just makes the game look smooth, but you have to click it manually like a loser. Ah. Not a fan of it. Not a fan of it. But it's a ooh, scout timing as well. I say scout timing. This is going to be some proxy, isn't it? Oh, God, no. I really don't want this. Uh. This... <laughs> I really hope this isn't a proxy. The problem with this is, is that this proxy is gonna... Now, he's a scout, he's a scout. Look, look at his movement. He's, he's even already... Bang, bang. Going to the third, going back home. He set a rally point. He's like, I ain't doing that stuff no more. Okay, so they have a marine first. He's gonna snipe an overlord. Okay, I like it. No orbital command. Nice. Who needs an orbital, right? Am I right, Lamayo guys? Just get the CS. <laughs> CC is down, yes. <laughs> sure, we can't mule, but build the CC, my friend. Here we go. Orbital now? No, no, it's more, it's more SCVs, man. It's depot. Yeah, I get the depot first. I don't understand how he's this close to being supplied. Like, he's lacking money, but I'm not sure why. He must have done something really wrong, but he has no cash whatsoever. He's supposed to be able to afford a, a factory at this point and get straight reactor on this barracks as well. Um, the SCV comes back home after a successful scouting mission. No, actually, what if I think back of his post, what was the complaint? The complaint was that Zerk can transpose too easily. And the Zerk, the Broodlords are in bar, right? Even though he has 3-3 three, three Marines. So, I guess the Zerk gets really crap upgrades. And the Terran doesn't. And then he loses to Broodlords. I want to make a small prediction that I just, I, I have this weird feeling that the transposing of the Zerg is not going to be the issue. Or the, the, the I don't like transitioning of the Zerg. A lot of the time when people say this, what they mean is not that Zerg was switching between tags. But actually that they didn't scout something that the Zerg was doing. And I think in this case it's going to be the Brute Lords. This is extremely common in IOTIS. Where people go like, oh, they switch tech so fast. Even though Zerg just like, they go to Hive in like 15 minutes. And then start Brute Lord. And they never switch out of it. This is so, so common. And for some reason, especially Terrans believe that this is switching unfairly. Because Terran is the only race that's fine in building literally Marines. Until the 35 minute mark. So these guys they have you know. They're always confused when the other races don't do those. Like oh they can they can get out of their. Their their basic units. That sounds broken. Okay we have Lynx scouting around. We have the Hellions not doing very much of anything. There's no Lynx speed. So these Hellions actually should be able to. I don't know, Kill a couple of drones. Okay Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Ah, this is the game. Wait, what happened here? He lost the car against Slowlings, didn't he? They sent him back home. I actually sent the car back home. Nice. 5 HP. I'm not quite sure how you managed to get this much damage on a Hellion against Slow Links, but. Oh, I, I guess it was the Roach. The Roach. The Roach already. No, wait, he just took the damage now. He actually almost lost the car to four Slow Links. Five Slow Links, whatever. Let's have a look at the structures. Okay, two reactors. That's not a thing. Triple barracks. He has a third CC already. Medevac. Okay, okay. Um, so he's gonna go for Hellion Drop, I guess. Like this, this just smells Hellion Drop, you know. Like the you you get a fast medevac. The problem here is that he doesn't have a tech lab yet because you usually want to swap or you want to build stim ASAP on your on your marines, right? You get a single tech lab, you get stim with it, and afterwards combat shield. You'd like a sixty marine drop. So he's getting a reactor on. That's a tech lab. Another tech lab. Okay, so he's getting double tech labs here. This is for. Maybe he's gonna go Heavy Marauder. I think he'll swap these two. Stim and Combat Shield at the same time. Um, then he can... Get the Starport on this reactor. But he's making it difficult for himself when it comes to the add-ons. These two definitely need to be reactors though. He also, okay, eBay's going down. After 5 racks... I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you, Lathoff. The Zerg still looks really broken, I agree with you. So far... Zerg, this is looking absolutely insane. I mean, this guy is uh, yeah, he's just owning you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the, the Terran is not doing anything. Just not clicking buttons. It, like, I feel like his early game at least was somewhat tight, but... It, Wait, he's getting a second factory. Infernal pre-igniter. And a banshee. And a ghost. I thought it was a barracks. I feel like every time I look at the production tab, I get a new surprise, you know? And it's all crap. It's like the Wheel of Unfortune, you know? Congratulations, you're now unemployed. Woo. And you spin it again. Your wife leaves you. Spin it again. I don't know what else. What other bad things could happen to you. But you go figure it out. Okay, this is my theory. Listen to this. This one, hell of a supply block. Because the first three minutes of Light Off weren't that bad. He played an okay game. I think what happened is... Is my man Light Off got called by his girlfriend or boyfriend... It's like, hey, my, par my parents aren't home. Do you want to come over? I'm going to light off. Seizing the opportunity, he goes, yeah. yeah I do, I do want to come over. But he just found the ladder game. He already plays for three minutes. So light off screams, Johnny, come over here, you little prick. Johnny's his little brother. Take over. And Johnny, of course, only being six years old, uh, never having played a game of StarCraft before, Loves, loves taking over. He's like, oh, finally he trusts me enough to play one of his video games. And I get to use his keyboard. Because usually Johnny needs to plug in his own keyboard. The one that got uh, sent in with the with the computer, you know. The, the crappy one. I get sticky for no reason. Now, that fight obviously wasn't great. But this Banshee is doing some work on the... On Rose, how about we just let the Banshee do his job, alright? Let the, the Banshee do these guys. Ooh, I like he's baiting him in the tank fire. This was a good move. I like this Johnny. And from now on, he's Johnny as well. We know Lightoff is not here anymore. Lightoff has, has left the building. He's getting stim. An armory. The classic armory before the 1 1 even starts. He has two tech labs on barracks. Yet, only is getting stim, no combat shield. Second armory. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, he does have two factories. And right now, a single factory unit. So, you do really want to work on those tank upgrades, obviously, with that single tank. 
ship weapons. No plating. Yes. And two more starports. And a fusion core. And this game doesn't make any sense anymore. Congratulations. Cloak. Yeah. Just add it on. Just any Anything else? No? Maybe bunker plating or medevac speed you could research next. I mean, you're getting two extra starports anyways. Another barracks added, of course. 1-1 one, one starts. Finally. Finally 1-1 one, one starts. You, you know what... What little Johnny... We'll call him Lathoff again. This to this. Lathoff is the kind of guy that when you go on a road trip with your friends, uh, you know everyone has to do part of the work there. You know, one guy, he, he takes care of the, the music. You know, he has the AUX cable and he has uh, some good playlists. You know, some bangers for the road trip. And then another guy, I don't know, he, he makes like the route and the planning. And then my man Lathoff here is in charge of the snacks. And Lathoff is the type of guy that brings the stupid baby carrots as a snack. That's not a snack. That's something you feed your grandma when she comes over and she's a little hungry. It's like, here, some, some snacks, grandma. And she can't have chips no more. Too old for that. But you, you can you can eat this carrot. Enjoy it. Grandma doesn't have to eat. Mm. Uh, this is what Lathoff does with his upgrades. He just... Brings things that no one wants. The vehicle plating. You think the guys in this army were really looking forward to the freaking vehicle plating on the single Thor that was here. Or perhaps we should have had the 1-1 one, one done already. And the freaking combat... If he's he has cloak, pre-infernal reigniter. Pre-infernal igniter. He built four Hellions this entire game. Three. Wait, where did that extra... I swear to god I knew there was there was four now. Maybe he killed it himself and it doesn't show up at the unit lost or something like that. <sighs> Planetary. Okay, he's up a base as well. This is the worst thing. He's actually mining like a million times more than his opponent. He's just not building things. <laughs> he queued up. <laughs> Infinite units on the tech lab barracks. And then there is a couple of barracks with marines that just aren't working. He built these starports, which he still hasn't used. I just don't think he uses hotkeys for buildings. I think Lightoff might not be aware that you can hotkey buildings. And he just clicks them. I think he just clicks them. But he doesn't know that he built a starport here anymore. So this one's, this one's never going to build anything. I can guarantee you that. He just doesn't know it's here anymore. Same with this armory. It's like out of sight, out of mind, you know? He's, he's gone. Hit the microphone for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, this is a good siege position, honestly. It's, it's not bad. You know also what wouldn't be bad? If he had combat shields. Just, I don't ask for much, but... A combat shield is kind of important. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things that I do like. It's nice snipes, by the way, he's been using. Look at that. Look at the energy on these bad boys. Doesn't have a hotkey for snipe, I guarantee you as well. He doesn't even know snipe's an ability. When he watches pro games and people build like 20 ghosts and insta snipe like 10 brute lords, he has no clue what just happened. He builds ghosts in his own games, they hardly do any damage. Look at this. It takes years to kill a corruptor. They have, they're worse than marines and I pay gas for them. That's ridiculous. Freaking two supply for this crap unit? He doesn't understand it at all. Still up, by the way. Still absolutely blasting his opponent. 4k in the bank, no problem. High roller. My man light off over here. Boom, mules, no problem. Oversaturation, boom, no problem. Over... <laughs> Jesus. This is completely empty. You know, in IOTIS, it's it's often difficult to see what type of job people have in real life. But he's definitely not like a an efficiency manager, like a power plant or something like that. Cause holy crap, he's understaffed at this base. How would they even work? He's the kind of guy, my man, my man Lightoff here, that owns 
a gardening company consisting of seven consultants and zero actual gardeners. And then he looks, he looks at like his uh, at his year report. It's like another year with with just loss. Like we have no clients and I have so many consultants. Like when his advertising, his marketing budget is insane. He's just everyone knows his company, but for some reason. The, just the work doesn't get done he just looks at it and he doesn't understand it light off in a nutshell puts another baby carrot in his mouth idiot oh the distraction this is the play this is the play this is the play look at this moving in here a moving this yes 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 the tank run by a an iotis classic no combat shield no medivacs no problem Vroop. shoot down the spine crawler Oop, lose this entire army. Kill two. He's gonna get three evos before he loses everything to the brutes. This is a drum roll. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. No. Only gets two evos. Does manage to take out a couple extra brute links, so good job on that. Very useful. Fifth base for the Zerg. My man Lightoff's never gonna scout this base. My man Lightoff just did his final push, didn't he? This is his two battle crews. Wait. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These two villains are never gonna get used, man. The last time... The last time Lightoff looked at this base, like... Uh, the last time Lightoff still looked at that base, there still was a wall in Germany. This is... Uh, this is not it. He hasn't, he hasn't seen his natural in years. Let's take a look at this fight, though. This is gonna be fantastic. It's a single corruptor. And there's two battle cruisers. Now, be careful because um, you might be thinking these battle cruisers look very weak. But, 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 we can't forget about the vehicle plating upgrade here. So these battle cruisers actually can take a lot more damage than you expect. They, these guys can take a beating with their level one vehicle plating. Oh, let me tell you that much. Now you could be saying, well, Kevin, why don't you get ship weapons? I mean, battle cruisers attack 50 times a second. Wouldn't uh, an attack upgrade be more impactful in this fight against only brute lords. Yes, but I mean, how could how could Johnny or Latov have known that beforehand? This is some good micro, by the way. He just right clicks the brute lords. The battle cruiser is one of those units that can shoot while moving, so you actually should move it rather than right clicking and just following. You should lose a lot of a damage output. Now you saw how much the vehicle pl plating did in that fight. I think the battle cruiser got maybe half or maybe two extra shots off one or one or two extra shots off on these corruptors almost killing a single corruptor whoop big blinking oh he's forced now to look here this battle cruiser is gone oh no he f2 okay yeah okay that's that's his luck that that there was in the control group or in f2 because god knows he's never looked at this part of the map this this base also just isn't gonna mule anymore it's got it's done you know this uh, this side is just it's over after, after he finished this upgrade, does he have 3-3 three, three yet? I think so, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's really supposed to at 18 minutes in the game. After he got 3-3, three, three, he did this part of the map. He just puts like a, a check mark sticker on it, on his on his monitor. He's like, I don't need to look there no more. This is, uh, this is done. Mission accomplished. Does he blink? And uh, no. But we still have another battle cruiser. Maybe we can, maybe we can do something with that. Oh, yes. Pull the workers away. That was very important. They definitely were in danger as he moved back. Now you look at this situation and you think to yourself, Kevin, this game is very over, isn't it? And I say, no, not really. This base, completely undefended. Well, Bardi's two roaches. But he still doesn't have combat shield. Uh, he's never gonna, he just, he's not aware of combat shield. He just is not aware of the combat shield. Honestly, if he just... What he can do is he can send this battle cruiser over here. And I'm pretty sure he's going to kill every single drone here. And he can just do it. If we look at this situation. The opponent has 19 units. 19, 19, 19 corruptors here. That are made entirely. Their entire purpose in life is to deal with this one air unit. This battle cruiser. Perhaps... This battle cruiser is gonna blink. No, of course not. Why, why do it? Why do I even try to get my hopes up? Let's 
that battle cruiser here actually would have been able to do something. I, I'm just sad. Is you look at these games and you think this is potential, and three minutes in, I already know there's not going to be any potential anymore. I just I can see it. I can smell it. I just there's some normal games. Just they, I don't I don't mind mistakes with the combat shield and the. Just everything. It's just not very good. He hasn't used snipes. Why do you build ghosts if you don't use snipe? I just don't understand it. Okay, here we go. This is good. No, this is a move. Lightoff is doing... Okay, he's making me happy now. He's heard my whines. He's heard me complain all the way to some European country. He's from... Well, all Europeans are the same. Now, he just... He forced an entire army. There's too many roach at this point, isn't there? He's just... He's just gonna lose to mass roach. He's actually losing to mass roach. 20 minutes in game. 3-3 three, three bio against 2-1 roaches. And he can't counter it. Because he has zero medivax. And he has no combat shield. And he doesn't have an army. And this is these stupid ghosts are triggering me as well to know them. Wait, this is it? He actually still was outmining his opponent. I actually... I got something new that I wanted to do, but I feel like my, my vibe has been killed. I'll, I'll do it anyway. A, a fan sent this to my house. This is the, the Imba inspector hat. It reads Imba. Uh, and just like your, your fire inspector checks if there's a fire, I check if there's any imbalance in this. I have a feeling, I already know the answer, but let's just op open the claim. We open the claim and we gotta have, you know, we gotta have an honest look. <sighs> okay. The game was smooth. I was up in bases. Okay, the game was not smooth. You can't say this. This is, if you think this is smooth, I want to see you hit on like a girl because that has to be something. So, hey, Kev, let me show you these, these smooth moves. You walk over, spill a drink on her, poop yourself, come back to me. He's like, not sure why she denied me, but that was pretty smooth. Like, this game was not smooth. This was the exact opposite of smooth. Um, you kept the Zerg under pressure. No, the, the only pressure that happened here was my blood pressure rising every time you got a useless upgrade. But you didn't deny his hatcheries, hatcher ass. What? He killed one base? The entire game, no? Suddenly he went to Brute Lords. This is the type of thing that you can only say if you've never scouted in your life. It's like, and suddenly he had 12 Brute Lords. And I wasn't aware of it. Well, yeah, like, if you don't scout for the entirety of the game, that is kind of what happens. Smashed my army, my 3-3 Marine, without combat shield. He forgot to mention the no combat shield. Did nothing. I went to produce stores, but I was playing bio and snipers are suck. Yeah, because you didn't use any spells on them. You produce stores. Tors are good. Tors the only unit that don't really require micro and they just did their job, even though for some reason they had more plating upgrades than attack upgrades. But I can almost forgive you for that. So hard to keep it alive, control, gas heavy. And to transpose into mech. Well, you're not supposed to transpose into mech. But you could have added some Thors and some sni some snipers. Some 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 ghosts. I'm not saying Brute Lords are Imba. Well, you were saying that, but the ability for Zerg to transpose into whatever he likes with only one building is so OP. You can just build it to trap me or to go massive. Okay, I'm actually done. I don't want to read anymore. I'm losing IQ every sentence I read. This game was extremely sad for me. It just... 
I look at this and I think what has become of, of my Platinum League where where I started out as well, you know, I think back of the times. This is like when you go back to your old neighborhood and the playground is now a factory. This is what it feels like. You've ruined my old neighborhood. The nostalgia is gone. This is what Platinum is like. Please don't go too hard on me. Thanks. It's too late. This, yeah, I don't know. This, this made me really, really sad. I can, I can take off my hat. My work here is done. You suck. And you suck extremely hard. Don't ever send me a replay again. Never. That's it. I'm out. Smash like.